Let me just reach over here and grab this. <laughs> You said that that was going to be a frivolous purchase. It was not. It was incredibly valuable. Guys, pardon the mess. I have to catch you up on what I've been doing. It's incredible. I just got this. I just set this up. It's a CNC machine, and it's specifically made for one purpose, pull cues. Let me show you. Look at this. This is going to be the top. And then do you see those pieces way over there? One's regular wood and one's purple heartwood. That's going to be the forearm and the handle. Let me show you what I'm talking about about. So ever since I started playing pool, which is many, many, many years ago, I honestly think that I've been more obsessed with the pool cues and the actual game itself. I don't know. I've just been creative forever, so I get inspired by weird things. So I am going to attempt to make my very own. It's a thing. I'm so excited. It involves lathes, and lathes are basically pieces of machinery that spin wood really, really fast. Let me show you. I don't know if you can see that spinning. So the idea is you can put wood in here, it spins really fast, and then you can use little cutters. You can use checks to manipulate the wood. I've never actually made it before. I'm still in the research phase, but like little bit by little bit by little bit, I'm gonna figure this out. First things up, let's put this big old router on. Whoa, I'm excited guys. It's been a long time. I've been wanting to do this for 20 years and I never had the opportunity. This is a very, 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 very expensive machine but I found some dude in North Carolina who bought it 10 years ago, never touched it. He never touched it because it was too intimidating. He couldn't get past the computers. So he sold it to me for like 10% of what it's worth. Amazing. Let me check, make sure it's working. Oh yeah, and it's really quiet too. Ratters are usually very, very, very loud. So guys, as wood settles, it moves. And it's really important to be dead on straight when you're making a pull cue. So what you have to do is you have to make really tiny or minor adjustments at a time, right? You have to do, do a tiny, tiny cut and then let it heal, let it rest, let it move. And then after a couple weeks, you do it again. Usually it takes up to a few months in order to get one shaft finished. Let's tighten this bad boy up. Let's turn this on for a little test. Make sure it's nice and straight. Okay. Cool. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one more skinny pass so we can go back up on the ceiling to uh, rest and settle. So yeah, you guys may or may not have noticed there's dust, there's just wood shavings everywhere. I have hooked up that in like a million different varieties, different variations. Doesn't matter what I do, it just chaos. So for the sake of demonstration, it's already dirty. I'm gonna leave this thing off so you can see this thing going. Beans, what's up, dude? Oh, guys, we were playing Roblox while we were eating. We found this really sweet Roblox kit. We haven't shot an ITT for it yet, but we're going to. Let me see. By the way, guys, ITT stands for... What does ITT stand for, Bubs? Izzy's Game Time. Izzy's Game Time. Check it out. Drop a link in the description. Oh, my goodness. You finally killed your eggs. You had like yeah. 50 of them, bro. Uh -huh. We are both actually playing. I'm just farming and idling while we do uh, garage stuff. All right, back to it. I'm almost done with this. Okay, so this is Mach 3. How fancy is this, guys? All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get it into position. We've loaded up a program. Cycle start. It's going to get into the starting position. It's going to go all the way back. Basically, I programmed it to stop right at the beginning. Now it should stop. Go down into the cutting position. Now it stops. The reason why it stops is because it says, okay, it's ready, do what you need to do. And in this case, what I need to do is this. That gets that nice and spinny. Ooh, it's so cool. Hey, babes. And then on top of that, we're gonna turn on the router. Safety first, guys. Yeah, I forget. Uh, usually I have the dust collector on there, but I have this like clear uh, acrylic protector. Safety first, I can't stress that enough. Some dangerous stuff in this place, man. Before I start this, I just want to do a quick recap. We have two machines here. This is a CNC machine, and then this is a traditional lathe. Decorations and designs and tapers and everything that can be done that would be difficult to be done by hand is done on this machine via the computer. Everything else, the joinery, the screws, gluing everything together, sealing everything, it all gets done on this machine. I'm talking like I'm a pro, but in reality, I'm, I'm learning as I go, but that's the best most efficient way to do it. Game on, Bubs, I don't think you have to leave. Usually these leaves because it's so loud, but these machines are um, really quiet. It should be going into the cut right now. Let's pick it up a little notch. It's as easy as that, guys, look at that. I'm not gonna let the camera show the whole thing because look, look how slow it's going. Let me get steady here. 
you see how slow it has to go? So I'm not gonna make you guys sit through that entirely. It's like it's snowing. Just snowing toxic wood chips. Oh, look at that. Smooth. Now I'm going to coat it. I'm gonna seal it in super glue and then hang it back up for another few days to let it settle. Babe, check this out. Let me show you something real quick. Okay. So you see this? Yes. This is a $40 pool cue, one piece that I bought from a pool store, okay? Okay. Hold on, where's my... Well, you just left it over there. <laughs> Story of my life the last few days. <laughs> let me just reach over here and grab this. You said that that was gonna be a frivolous purchase. It was not. It was incredibly valuable. So check this out. This is one that I did a few weeks ago. It is ready for another turn. Not this show, not today. But this I'm visualizing is probably gonna be the forearm. Hold on, let's move this so you can get the full extent of it. Whoa. Look how much meat I have to remove to get it down to size. So that's Whoa, that. how much meat? Oh, you're picking up some more, huh? I love this. <laughs> I told you. So this is gonna be the handle. Oh. Oh, I so, like how you put little, <laughs> little, little cute hooks. Little cute hooks. So this is gonna be the handle, and then I'm gonna make another piece of purple heart around five and a half inches long, and that's gonna be the butt. And then three. The very last. Whoa! Wait, is it a four piece? Man, you just hanging them all up there, hanging huh? Hanging them all up, and then this is the shaft. So this what? is my full cue. Why do they call it that? I know. Shaft, forearm, handle, butt. I'm and so it, proud of you. Right? And Kiki. And Kiki. <laughs> and then there's gonna be a screw right here because who wants to put these in your car, right? All modern pole cues have oh. a screw. So this is gonna be one piece. These three pieces are gonna be glued together like one solid piece, right? One division, then tip. Awesome, wow. right? And you get Kiki. Just and kidding, Kiki. Kiki. Man, this is so rad. I'm so proud of you for getting this far with that beast of machinery. Yeah, I had to teach myself really quick about lanes and CNC. Um, it's a lot of learning, but it's been an absolute blast. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to catch you guys up because, man, uh, this is an exciting uh, project. Guys, babe, are you serious? <laughs> Why do you leave that out there? I don't, babe, this is what I do. You're disgusting. Babe, you need what to I do. clean this. I put it right there, and then Kiki will slowly, as she's eating it, this, this Why happens. would you put it there? Put it in that. Well, what's wrong with you? Right? Ew, uh, you know how bad this stuff smells? So gross. Now you get to put him back up. <laughs> serious business, man. <laughs> yeah! Uh, if you drop one, does that like ruin the whole everything? I don't know. I wondered this pretty much every time that I do this. I'm like, if I drop this, is it gonna shatter? Wow. Yeah! Well, I look forward to see what it is gonna end up looking like. Yeah. yeah. All right. Be a lot of fun. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.